read somewhere that gravity affects time. That the further from Earth's pole, the faster that time moves, and the closer to the gravitational pole, the slower that it moves. You said, I can't wait to build a life with you. So I said, okay. We gathered up our things and walked to the tallest mountain. Our fingers interlocked and our palms folded into paper airplanes that drifted us to the top of the highest peak of the highest mountain. Along the way up, our feet kissed the crowns of trees and made them bloom into bells. Bloom a roof from all nine yards of rain and light until our toes touched the top of the mountain and we lived our life together fast as avalanche. Fast as the rushing wind at the peak. But it was cold there. Cold with all that wind and time rushing away. There was no time to wait, no time to warm. You said, I want to hold a moment with you as long as we can. So I said, okay. We gathered up our things and, and held each other tight. Our paper airplanes unfolded and our arms fashioned a sled. We slipped down the other side of the mountain together. We came to rest in soft black dirt, our garden. Our held hands pressed together as if to pray. They folded into a shovel spade. And together we dug. Along the way we ate the beets and other root vegetables you had planted, and together we dug. As the heat grew, we gave each other the cold breeze we remembered from the mountain, and together we dug until our shovel struck the core, rang it like a bell. We found the door inside. We carried one another across the threshold. Inside the ringing stopped, the heat became warmth, and it was still. Time slowed to a whispered hum. Our shovel unfolded into hands. Our bodies folded into each other's bodies. Finally still. Finally warm. Finally able to hold this. You said, I want to hold you like this. I said, okay.